So the guys are talking at work and guy says, you know, my friend Bubba, he knows everybody. Really knows everybody. And the boss says, no way, not a chance. No, no, it's, let me introduce you to him. He introduces him to Bubba and the boss says, hey, you don't know everybody. He says, well, actually I do. He says, well, I bet you don't know Tom Cruise. I just watched him at the Top Gun Maverick movie. You don't know who he is. He says, of course I know Tom. I've known him since we were kids, grew up together. And so they head off to Hollywood. They fly there and as soon as Tom sees Bubba on the set, he calls, cut, stop everything. And he runs over and grabs Bubba, gives him a big hug. Well, the boss says, okay, big deal. So you know Tom Cruise. I bet you don't know Donald Trump. He says, well, of course I know Donald. No one in our families were friends for the year. They head off to Florida. They get to Florida, get over to the Trump mansion, and as soon as they get there, word goes to Donald, hey, Bubba's at the gate. Donald comes running out to throw his arms around Bubba. I can't believe you're here. He says, you're of course staying for supper. Melania will not take no for an answer from you, Bubba. Well, all right, so hey, the boss says, you know, you know Tom Cruise, you know Donald Trump. I bet, I bet you don't know the Pope. Bubba says, of course I know the Pope. In fact, the Pope baptized me. He says, I don't believe it, not a chance, couldn't be, you, you can't. So they fly off to Italy. They get to Rome and they're at Vatican City there, St. Peter's Square. They're, they're just lining up now. The, Bubba says, listen, I can't get you into the Vatican, but you see that, that window up there? Well, in about 20 minutes, I'll come out with the Pope. Boss man says, well, I, I don't know if I believe this, but okay. And so about 20 minutes are going by. And while those 20 minutes are going by, the crowd has just gathered to thousands and thousands of people are gathered, all pointing up to the balcony and waiting. Well, after about 20 minutes, Bubba comes out and the Pope has his arm around him. And the guy who's standing next to the boss elbows him and says, hey, hey, who's that guy that's got his arm around Bubba? The Gospel of John begins and ends at the Sea of Galilee, or as he refers to it, the Sea of Tiberias. It begins there as Jesus calls him from a life of fishing to fish for men and to be part of Jesus' ministry team of the 12 apostles. When we enter into the Gospel of John, the Gospel of John begins taking us back to Genesis chapter number one, in the beginning, God. And as John takes us and shows us Jesus as Yahweh God, he says, in the beginning was the Word. John begins there showing us Jesus from time and eternity as the creator of life himself. And there we are introduced to a few people that we get to know. We get to know John the Baptist. We get to know the other apostles. But more than just that, we get to know Father God. We get to know the Holy Spirit. We're going to have a revelation in the Gospel of John that's going to show us the relationship between Father and Jesus, so intimate, so close we'll get an opportunity to experience the person and work of the Holy Spirit as 45 times in the Gospel of John, in just those 21 chapters, 45 times Jesus talks about the Holy Spirit in this Gospel of John. From the very beginning of the anointing of Jesus' ministry all the way to the end where 
the Holy Spirit is given to indwell the believers. While the Gospels have a lot of similarity, Matthew, Mark, and Luke are synoptic Gospels, meaning seen together. They transpire mostly in the area of the Galilee. Matthew, a Jew, writes to the Jewish people about the Jewish Messiah fulfilling Jewish scripture to complete Judaism and bring salvation to the Jewish people. Mark writes a fast-paced account to a mixed Roman audience, showing Jesus as the conquering leader for the Roman world to find salvation in and follow. And Luke, our gospel. Luke was written to the non-Jew. Luke was written to the Gentile world, decisively portraying Jesus as the Jewish Messiah, as the Savior for the whole world and not just the Jewish people. He honors the Gentiles. He honors women. And he shows us Jesus for us today. Now, those three Gospels were already written when John's Gospel comes on the scene. And John writes a, a very different Gospel, complementing the others. He shares mostly from the area of Judea, around Jerusalem, and takes us a few times up to the Galilee. But the purpose of his work is so that you and I might believe. The author of the Gospel of John is none other than the Apostle John, who's the brother of James, the son of Zebedee. You can also find him referred to as the beloved apostle. He writes not only the Gospel of John, but he also wrote the three epistles, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, and the book of Revelation. John was at the cross at the death of Jesus. He was there and Jesus commissioned him to continue to care for Mary. Of the 12 apostles, John was the only one to die a natural death. The others were martyred for their faith. Once you have done the introduction, we're going to launch day two into the most important verses in church history. You'll learn why as we right away see John's presentation of Jesus as Yahweh God. Jesus was not just the Messiah. He was not just a carpenter from Galilee. He was God in the flesh. As we share our first week together in the Gospel of John, we'll go through chapters 1, 2, and half of chapter number 3. We'll start in chapter 1 and see who Jesus is, Yahweh God. We'll be introduced to John the Baptist and several of the apostles. In chapter number 2, we'll take a visit to Cana of Galilee for a wedding, where Jesus' theme of purity will take on some new dimensions of understanding for you. In chapter number three, we'll be introduced to Nicodemus, member of the Sanhedrin and the master teacher of all of Israel, there to ascertain the authenticity of Jesus' messianic claims. This first week is going to be incredible. I encourage you, be consistent in your reading and let God speak to you through the Gospel of John as we share it together in our 40 days through the Gospel of John.